Motors. I have got another video for you today. This is a simple how to fix a uh, small water leak on a Samsung side-by-side -side refrigerator. This will work for other types of refrigerators, GE, Whirlpool, anybody, any of them that have a drain tube inside the freezer section. Um, there's a little panel on there, you'll see it in the video that uh, you take off inside that panel is a little catch drain at the bottom and uh, the water as it does its little defrost cycle every so a few hours or so drips down into that drain pan it's supposed to go down to the bottom of the refrigerator where it evaporates on its own however what they do is they freeze up slowly and build an ice block an ice dam and it comes back up into that little catch basin and then finally it comes back out underneath the drawer the little bottom drawer in the freezer and will eventually leak out past the ceiling into your floor at the, you know front left if you're staring at it front left corner and it will look like there's something major going on uh, what i had to do with this one i had to take the panel off the six screws that took the panel off and then i had to take a hair dryer and defrost it to the point where i got the block of ice out and then the tube i just kept taking a little i used a you can use a turkey baster i used a little uh needle type injector took the needle off of it just uh, syringe and just pushed hot water out of the tap in there until it finally uh defrosted that little um ice dam in there and it I poured a little bit of water, make sure it was clear all the way down, heard it draining, and it works fine now. So, you know, check it out before you spend the money on a repair guy, before you spend the money on a new refrigerator, freezer combo. Check out these simple little fix, and then if you got any questions, please put them in the comments. Thanks. Have a good one. Hey, make sure you like and subscribe to the video. Uh, look at my other videos I've got, how-to on a couple of cars, how-to on some plant propagation things. Let me know what you think. Uh, please share the video as well. Have a good one. This is the Samsung side-by-side -side refrigerator that we have. Um, this is the one we're having the freezing problem with. Water ends up on the floor right there. And what I've determined this is from, is from the, there's an overflow, or excuse me, a defrost flow right here behind this panel. There's six screws, two there, two there. And then there's two clips. You can uncover those two more screws. Take all that stuff out uh, and it'll have the coils will be there and there's a silver tray at the bottom and you'll see ours is full of ice thaw that out there's a tube that goes in the back you'll have to kind of take a turkey baster or something to shoot hot water in there keep shooting hot water and taking the water back out hot water in taking the water back out eventually that tube will clear out it goes into a catch pan at the bottom of the refrigerator um, where it evaporates from and then you'll see that the uh, um, this thing won't work normally and you won't have any more water spilling out the floor. Samsung side-by-side -side refrigerator. We had water leaking out onto the floor. And you see right at the bottom of the, underneath the little bottom tray, it's just a ice sheet of ice. Back plate comes off, uh, I think six screws. And then you see there's a heating element. This is part of the defrost. It helps defrost. It goes through a defrost cycle and puts everything down in the in the uh, drain down there but you see my drain is a solid block of ice so what i'm doing is i'm using a hair dryer because it's solid there's no way you're gonna get just a little bit of warm water on there to, to take this out it's a solid block of ice um, taking that solid block and uh, heating it with a hair dryer and hoping to defrost it so we can get this thing cleared up